In this video, we're going to look at the recurring general journal feature, and we're going to look at the option of automatically uh, allocating the balance of an account over to other accounts. So first, I'm just going to look at my chart of accounts, and I'm going to look at a certain account number here. So you'll notice that this life insurance expense has a balance of $600 in it. And I'm just going to go over to General Journals. And I'll go to Navigate Recurring General Journal again. And this time, what I'm going to do is create a new batch. So I'll create new. And I'll name this one Balance so we can see how the balance feature works. Okay, so we have a new recurring general journal batch called balance, and I'm going to change my recurring method this time to use the balance method rather than fix. And I'm going to use the, the same frequency, that formula, so that we can have our date go to the last day of the month again. And then I'll put in a document number. So now I'm going to choose the account that we just looked at. So we have our life insurance expense. And now this time, since I'm using the balance feature, I'm not going to enter an amount. I'm just going to quickly go over to this allocated amount window and define my allocations in here. So I'm going to pick the same account. I'm going to have that listed three times and I'm going to choose Three departments that I would like to allocate that balance to. So it's similar to entering a fixed allocation, except this time Business Central is going to calculate the dollar amount that will be used. So we have our three different departments listed, and then we just need to put in our percentage. Here that add up to 100%, and then click close, and now we should be all set. I'll go to post and print and preview my posting just to make sure I don't have any errors. And we can see that it already gave us a preview of the balance, which is nice. So you can also check it out before you post it and just make sure that it's going to allocate the balance that you expect. So we'll see that matches what we saw in our chart of accounts window. And it's going to take the $600 and it's going to automatically allocate it to these three departments as we defined based on the percentages. And that's it. So now we have our recurring batch out there and we can use this to reallocate the balances of that account every month. So now I can just go to post and print and post. And now my batch is here again and all ready for uh, next month.